What is the next Harley Davidson Icon bike? Let's get into it. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So this video is all about, yes, the Harley Davidson and their Icon series of bikes and what will be the next one for 2022. Now, I've just got to say this first of all. When Harley Davidson uh, first announced their Icon series last year, 2021, and they brought out the, um, the Revival bike, I was under the impression, and maybe I just totally misunderstood this, but I was under the impression that they were going to be bringing them out every two or three months, or let's say every three or four months, let's say, at least once a quarter, at minimum every six months. But it just doesn't seem to have been that way. Now, I understand, of course, they brought out other bikes like the ST uh, series of bikes and also now the uh, the Nightster as well. So maybe they just don't want a conflict. And I know they've got this drip feeding uh, strategy uh, with their bikes or model launches, I should say. So maybe this is exactly where they're doing it. But I just thought we would have seen another Icon bike by now. Anyway, let's put that aside. Let's just talk about 2022 now and what is the next Icon bike. So you might have already seen quite a few videos of rumours of, of uh, this uh, FXRT sort of style uh, bike that might be coming out and people have been calling it the El Diablo. Now where this El Diablo has come from I have no idea. So if you do let us know in the comments below. But this all seems to have stemmed from an article written from uh, a publication or online publication uh, who was sort of speculating what it could be. And basically, you know, they're the same about the Lowrider and then the Lowrider ST, and then they're going to make this an FXRT kind of uh, icon bike, as it were, and that's where it's going to come out. Now, I think that original article came out in January, February time of 2022. Obviously, now a few months have passed and still no news, no official uh, offerings from Harley Davidson either, and also no other sources as well. I, I believe some other sources have quoted the original uh, article, the speculation article, but no new news. Now, what has come out of uh, colour codes, and I'm sure you've seen this on, on other videos as well, holidays and colour codes, and uh, uh, some other... Uh, references to something that is new El Diablo the um, the the red color and uh, and all these kinds of things but there's no design specs there's nothing new on it so the mind wanders well first of all when is it going to come out will it come out in July August like I speculated in a few weeks ago of a new model that would be coming out well perhaps as a couple of you have mentioned in the comments on that video maybe it's not a new bike per se maybe it's just one of the icon bikes coming out and it could be this El Diablo okay I mean I still think that's a bit of a naff name I've got to say for uh, a bike but as I say that, that aside but if it is going to be this kind of FXRT or whatever, whatever kind of retro bike uh, it could be, I don't know. I just think there's a bit too much of that fairing bags kind of bike at the moment. And yeah, Sport Glide, yes, we've still got it in Europe. Obviously, in the US, uh, it's it's uh, stopped. Uh, obviously, they've got the Low Rider uh, STs, uh, you know, with the bags as well. So you know, there is that now. And obviously, you've got all the 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 baggers and the tourers, you know, for for all that kind of thing. So there was another video some months ago where they quoted that it could be like a Fat Boy type thing. And I'm just wondering, are either of these options? even worthy of an icon status I'm, I'm not so sure i mean personally if if i was just going for an icon bike i would look at something like now because a lot of these icon bikes have been suggested they're going to be retro bikes but using the m8 engine so i'm thinking actually why don't they make an icon bike with a revolution max engine and maybe copy an old sportster and that's what i'm thinking would be a really cool icon bike. So I've not hidden the fact that one of my favorite Harley Davidsons of all time was the much maligned or much favored, I don't know, depends which side of the fence here you fall on, uh, the XLCR 1000, the Cafe Race uh, Sportster. Um, you know, back in the day. I just love that bike. I absolutely love everything about it. And there have been a few custom incarnations that have kind of mirrored it, um, you know, in recent years as well. But I just think, do you know what? 
if you had a cafe racer, you know, that has the Revolution Max engine and it's kind of styled in this XLCR, I've got a feeling that that would be well sought after. Now, again, I'm not saying this is going to be the new Icon bike. And yes, maybe it will be an M8 um, bike uh, for an El Diablo, an FXRT or whatever it is. I, I have no idea. But I'm just saying, well... I think we've had too many of those already. Maybe we need something different. And I think actually, if this Revolution Max engine is the one that we want to be pushing now, then something like an XLCR 1000, you know, icon bike would be amazing. So for me, Harley Davidson, if you're going to bring out an icon bike for 2022, do that. Do something around the old Sportster models, one of some of the iconic models. It doesn't have to be the XLCR. It could be anything uh, from back in the day. Something like that that people would just be really looking at with kind of nostalgic eyes and thinking, wow. But you've got all the modern kit on it and it'd be, you know, a modern riding bike. Uh, I just think that'd be amazing. Now, of course, FXRT or, or, or whatever other bike that they want to come out with, I'm sure it'd be fantastic in many ways and I'm sure it would appeal to a lot of people. All I'm saying is that the kind of bike that I think has been proposed or, or suggested, I think there's, there's it's too similar or there'd be too many similarities with existing models that are out there. So I think coming out with something different would be the best way to go. But, you know, again, this is my opinion. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the new Icon bike should be? When will it come out? And should they produce more Icon bikes throughout the year instead of just one? Maybe two or three. Let us know your thoughts. But don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share. Check out the website, revelatealf.com. Ta-da.